Aroa bilimbi, commonly known as bilimbi, cucumber tree, or tree sorrel, is a fruit-bearing tree of the genus of Roa, family Oxlidaceae. It is a close relative of Carambola tree. The bilimbi tree reaches 5 to 10 meters in height. Its trunk is short and quickly divides up into ramifications. Bilimbi leaves, 3 to 6 centimeters long, are alternate in paripinate and cluster at branch extremities. There are around 11 to 37 alternate or subopposite oblong leaflets. The leaves are quite similar to those of the Otaite gooseberry. The trunk and branches of tree has to be exposed to sunlight for fruits to form. Traditional knowledge, which is achieved by removing leaves except from branch end dot in the Philippines, where it is commonly found in backyards. The fruits are eaten, either raw or dipped in rock salt. It can be either curried or added as a souring agent for common Filipino dishes such as sinigang, pinangat and paksa. It is being sun-dried for preservation. It is also used to make salad mixed with tomatoes, chopped onions with soy sauce as dressing. The uncooked bilimbi is prepared as relish and served with rice and beans in Costa Rica. In the Far East where the tree originated, it is sometimes added to curry. Bilimbi juice, with a pH of about 4.47, is made into a cooling beverage. In Indonesia, it is added to some dishes, substituting for tamarind or tomato. Additionally, the fruit can be preserved by pickling, which reduces its acidity. The flowers are also sometimes preserved in sugar. In another part of Indonesia, Ase, it is preserved by sun drying. The sun dried bilimbi is called a samsanti. Bilimbi and a samsanti are popular in Asahanese cuisine. It can replace mango in making chutney. In Malaysia, it also is made into a rather sweet jam. In Kerala and Batkal, India, it is used for making pickles and to make fish curry, especially with sardines, while around Karnataka. Maharashtra and Goa the fruit is commonly eaten raw with salt and spice. In Guyana, it is made into achars, pickles too. In Seychelles, it is often used as an ingredient to give a tangy flavor to many Seychello Creole dishes, especially fish dishes. It is often used in grilled fish and also, almost always, in a shark meat dish, called satini rukin. It is also used to make a delicious sauce for grilled that consists of chopped onion, chopped tomato, chopped chili and cooked on low heat. It is a must in our local white fish broth bouillon blan when in season we also curd them with salt to be used when it is not available. In the Philippines, the leaves serve as a based on itches, swelling, rheumatism, mumps or skin eruptions. Elsewhere, they are used for bites of venomous creatures. A leaf infusion is used as an afterbirth tonic while the flower infusion is used for thrush, cold, and cough. Malaysians use fermented or fresh bilimbi leaves to treat venereal diseases. In French Guiana, syrup made from the fruit is used to treat inflammatory conditions. To date there is no scientific evidence to confirm effectiveness for such uses. In some villages in the Thruvananthapuram district of India, the fruit of the bilimbi was used in folk medicine to control obesity. This led to further studies on its antihepolipidemic properties. The fruit contains high levels of oxalate. Acute kidney failure due to tubular necrosis caused by oxalate has been recorded in several people who drank the concentrated juice on continuous days as treatment for high cholesterol. In Malaysia, very acidic bilimbis are used to clean crease blades. In the Philippines, it is often used in rural places as an alternative stain remover. Bilimbi fruit has been used traditionally to control hypertension. Bilimbi fruits are boiled with three cups of water until half of the water has evaporated, then the decoction can be taken once it's lukewarm. It is advised to drink this decoction every morning. Bilimbi fruits are known to reduce blood sugar level. There are two ways of taking the benefits for controlling blood sugar level. First, making the bilimbi fruits into juice and drink it just like any other fruit juice. Bilimbi fruit decoction is already used for centuries to treat fever. The flower is made into infusion for treating cold and cough. 
The high vitamin C in this fruit helps strengthen immune system. Bilimbi fruit extract has been added to cough syrup, due to its positive effects in reducing coughs and runny nose. The sour taste also make the cough syrup more palatable. The leaves and stems can be used to reduce swelling, rheumatism, itch, and insect bites. Mumps, epidemic parotitis, is a disease caused by mumps virus. This virus attacks parotid salivary glands, can be one or both parotid glands. The disease results in painful swelling in parotid glands. Putting the paste of young stems and leaves of bilimbi with garlic, C.5, can give positive effect in reducing the swelling. Bilimbi fruit syrup can be used to treat any inflammations, including hemorrhoids. The astringent effect helps reduce rectal bleeding. In Malaysia, the sun-dried fruits and leaves are used to treat STD, sexually transmitted diseases, aka venereal diseases. Some sun-dried fruits and leaves are boiled with three glasses of water until half of the water evaporates, then the decoction can be taken two times a day. The flower infusion is used to treat thrush, candidiasis, 